Well, new right now, for the first time ever since Barrel hit, fewer than a million CenterPoint customers are offline. That number is now at 997,000 CenterPoint, updated the outage tracker today. So when you click on certain blue areas where power is still out, you will see a rough estimate of when power could finally be restored for you. However, many uh, other areas do not include that timeline just yet. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson is tracking the progress or perhaps some might call it lack of progress in the spring area. Liliana? Yeah, it's no surprise this neighborhood here in spring has no power right now. I mean, just look at what's around me. There are these power lines that are completely blocking the sidewalk. They're blocking the nearby road, and you're going to see this mess all over spring. The residents who live here, they tell me that they haven't even seen crews come out to start to clean up this mess. They say it's no surprise to them that they're sitting inside their houses in the heat and in the dark. Over a million people in the Houston area share the same feeling. Uh, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. Kia Ambrose's family, including her two-year-old and elderly grandmother, have been without power for four days with no sign of relief. It's been tough, but... Uh... I mean, we're here, you know. As linemen from a dozen states flock to southeast Texas, residents hoped for a speedy recovery. But CenterPoint says crews, some working in 16-hour shifts, will at least continue through the start of next week. That work now overshadowed as people online claiming to be out-of-state linemen say they couldn't begin work as contract negotiation prevented them from beginning. CenterPoint telling us today that is not happening. Instead, focusing on the long hours, saying there are times when workers need to rest to be able to continue the work safely. As restoration drags on, restoration estimations continue to change. The first update we got said about Wednesday, it was through an email, and um, then the next one said by Friday, and then now some say by Sunday. According to the Center Point Restoration Map, this neighborhood has had their damage assessment completed. But with major infrastructure damage, even when crews do arrive, residents don't expect a quick fix. You see there's like probably 15 or 16 trees that's still hanging on the power lines. I mean, there's no close time to say that it's going to be air. And in that latest update we just got from CenterPoint, you heard we have over a million people that are now back online, just under a million people left to go. CenterPoint saying in their update this morning that places that were impacted over the last few years by things like that deep freeze, the drought, the derecho, now the hurricane, these are areas that are going to have things like compromised trees and are going to be the areas where you're going to see the longest and most prolonged outages. From Spring, I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Liliana.